You want to see what's in the package, guys? Let's take a look. Come on over here. Let's look, guys. Pull up a chair. Climb on up. I know, it's so exciting. I, I would say that this gets old, opening packages, but it doesn't. It doesn't get old. I know, it's a present for death. Oh, wow. Look, guys. Oh, yeah. Loving the packaging. That's so cool. Burlap sacks. Get rid of this cardboard nonsense. Oh, should we see? I'm going to open this first. This is awesome. So, these were made by my new friend Maxim out of Ukraine, all hand forged, love the packaging, wrapped them in burlap sacks. Oh, very nice, look at that. This is an ads, which is like an ax. It's like an ax, but it's an ads. Oh, that's beautiful. No, you can hold that. Is that just your size? Yeah. All right, so that's piece one. You want to open that one, Carver? Yeah. Okay. Let's cut the strings. Okay, Carver, you unwrap it. What's in there? It's a dinosaur. Is it a dinosaur? No, it's way better than a dinosaur. Oh. What's that, Carver? It's, a, it's, a... it's an axe! I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Undo yeah. the button, pull it off, watch your fingers. Whoa. Is that my axe? Is that your axe? Yeah. Okay, be careful. It's very sharp. What's all that oh for my you? Goodness, that is a beautiful That's piece of work. Size? Oh, it just feels Daddy, so good in the hand. I, this is your size, Daddy. Can I? This is We're going to have to do some close-ups here in a minute, guys. Just be patient, Daddy, okay? Oh, size, should we watch though? this big one here, guys? Look at these nice leather sheaths. I think it's the one bigger. The big one. It's for you. I know. Daddy's a big axe. Not a big axe. You excited, guys? Oh, you want to help me? Help me get the strings off? Yeah, pull the strings. Okay. That is a thing of beauty. Double bit. All right. Let's have a little close up here, shall we? Start with the double bit. Well, the handles are all handmade by Maxim. Maxim Maximenko. We'll take it off. Take Watch your fingers, okay? Off. These are very sharp. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Top. Nice and sharp. This will make a good splitter. This is for you. The he uh, burned samurai carpenter into the neck of each axe. That's a really nice custom touch. See, beautifully kind of done in there with like a little laser engraver, I'm guessing. The handles are all handmade out of ash, and just the fit and finish on the head, there's absolutely no gap. This is a, the handles dropped in from the top, so it's just pressure fit in there. And the fit around that handle is just phenomenal. There's absolutely no gaps anywhere, top and bottom. And the finish on the steel is beautiful. It's like just got that nice kind of oxidized, oiled look. The sheaths are really nice quality, heavy. It's like a seven ounce leather. 
It's got like a nice kind of rippled antique patina on it. And the fit on there is just gorgeous, nice and snug on the blade. Watch your fingers, bud. See how nice that fits? Do up the button. Push. Line it up there. This adds, I'm really looking forward to using this. Beautiful sheath design. I love that little single strap on the angle there. Everything's double stitched. Like really, really high level of craftsmanship here. Beautiful. Now I wanted a slightly clamshell adds. But she did beautifully. Just got a nice little bit of swoop this way. And then a nice bit this way as well. So that should be perfect for texturing boards and benches and just being able to just do a nice little scalloped adds texture on there should be good. So now I'm just interested to see how well this steel holds an edge. I was reading on a website with the type of steel he used. I forgot what it's called, but I'm sure it's good quality. And you want to open yours up? Let's open it in front of the camera, okay? And this one here, this is a carver's axe. It's got a nice little swoop on the handle. Hand gets right up underneath there beautifully. The edges are nicely kind of tapered in on those cheeks or whatever they're called. So there's nothing really sharp digging into your hand. The patina on this blade is just gorgeous. As well as the shape is just as sexy as they come. Nice bearded carving axe. Same just gorgeous fit all around that head. No wedge, just drops in from the top. I need to go chop some stuff. And I need to go chop some You want to chop some stuff too, don't you, Carver? Yeah. It's just the right and size for you. Up the house. <laughs> You're not going to let me play with that, are you? Is that, is that just for you? I want to show mommy. You want to show mommy? Okay, well, it looks like we got to go show mommy. So that is where we're cutting it off for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you think about the display here and whether or not I should take it a step further. My shop, it's not a super big shop, not a super small shop. It's a great shop. I love the shop, but it's 
freaking overloaded with tools right now. It's just clutter, mess everywhere. So I'm trying to use as much space as I can and I'm thinking, oh, make some shelving, have my hand planes going on here as well. Just because there's a lot of surface area, square footage here that I could take advantage of, come up with some kind of clever plane stacking solutions. You know, that's obviously really solid so that when I do open this door, it's not gonna, not gonna send my planes onto the floor, but at the same time, not just waste all this space here because it is handy to have these tools really close to my workbench. So let me know what you think of that. Love to hear from you in the comments section. The other great news is part two of the Samurai Alex Steel collaboration is taken off in the mail to the UK tomorrow. So hopefully in the next week or two, we're gonna have Alec unboxing his present from the Samurai and it's just gonna be really awesome. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna be stoked on it and everybody is gonna be blown away at what he comes up with to finish that project off. So stay tuned for that, guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that button in the corner. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not subscribed, hit that button in the corner. Because every day, we're just pushing a little bit harder, making a little bit more progress, and life is getting that much better, okay? It's all about persistence. I will also say that, you know, it's basically been a samurai Christmas here for the last couple of weeks. Me just opening up all sorts of awesome sharp tools and showing them off to you guys. And I wanna say that I'm blown away and super blessed uh, to be in the position that I'm in right now and I'm super grateful for it, but I want you to know that like, um, a lot of what you see on this channel, you know, sure it's pretty sweet kinda woodworker dream type stuff, but the struggle is real, man. It's still real in my life. I got screaming kids that are driving me crazy and pooping their pants and all sorts of crazy nonsense that I'm just trying to deal with on a daily basis. And it's still a grind for even me. And some days I wake up and I'm like, does anybody even care or wanna watch what I'm doing anymore? And you know, you get these stupid voices in your head that are kind of talking you down and bumming you out. And I just want you to know like, hey, I deal with that too. All right, so wherever you're at in your life, man, just realize that this life is persistent, pushing and struggling and just fighting. Like there's just always there's always going to be pushback in life and we just have to, it's, life is just, life is just a trial, you know, but it's not, but it's, that's not a negative thing. That's an awesome thing that it's like this ever, it's just this ever challenging journey that's constantly pushing us to our limits and just saying, hey, are you going to push back today? And I just want to let you know that I'm feeling that, but I'm also pushing back every day, guys. So wherever you're at, whether you're on top of the world right now and you're feeling pretty awesome, or you're in the dumps, man, just don't give up, guys. Whatever you do, just don't give up. Keep pushing forward. A little bit of progress every day, and you'll be blown away at what you can achieve, all right? So stay tuned, guys. Lots of awesome stuff coming down the pipe. What do I have here? Oh, yeah. Saw stuck to my back. Still got a couple of these on our Amazon store, so if you're looking to get a beautiful hand saw, super reasonably priced, check them out on my Amazon store. Link up in the corner or the description box below. Until next time, guys. Samurai out.